Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to turn a picture like this into the 3D face silhouette uh, printout. For this we'll need three separate applications. We'll start with Inkscape, then we'll move into Tinkercad and we'll finish with a Cura application to create uh, uh, files that we can send to the 3D printer. So let's get started. First we need to choose the picture. The picture should have white background and should have uh, quite a good contrast that will help us to create a proper vector representing that picture. So uh, let me choose a picture of my favorite vector. Alright, so, so we see plenty of pictures here, but let's choose the one that... Ah, this one. This one looks, looks perfect. So we have white background and a fairly good contrast. So that picture looks quite okay. Let's save it. Now we can try to open uh, that picture in InScape. put it uh, center on the screen and we choose following options. We go path and trace bitmap. Uh, we choose grays. Uh, we untick the smooth uh, uh, because this option just basically gets rid of quite a lot of details that we uh, would most likely like to keep. Uh, we execute this option and now you can see that you have original pictures here which we can remove and we have a grail scale representation of that image. Actually there are eight different layers of grayscale stack one uh, upon each other so we can ungroup them and we can basically show them all. So the next step is gonna be to remove the ones that are no good which is this one that one that one uh, th those are close together I'll probably remove that one and keep this one and I'll remove that one so that leaves us two layers which we can move one on each other and you, you're going to see that this starts looking like a fairly cool picture. Okay, now that we have those two layers chosen, we move them side by side and we are going to save this project in, into SVG format. Now we can move to um, Tinkercut application. I have already created a project in Tinkercad. Uh, as you can see, we have uh, a frame that I'll uh, later on use and a white background that we'll put our uh, silhouette on. For now, 
uh, let me move those two objects aside and let's import uh, the SVG file that we created previously. You can see that both layers right now are a single object in Tinkercad and they have a height of 10 millimeters. That's way too much, so let's do it half a millimeter. Let's try to separate those uh, uh, layers now. Uh, we will do it by duplicating them. we will use the shape that is a hole rather than the solid object. Let's do it big enough to cover the second layer. And when we merge those two objects, we'll be left with just the first layer. We have to do similar actions for the second layer. So we take another whole object. And also you can see there are some unwanted um, uh, small dots that we would rather remove. So we'll take another whole object here to cover them. And when we move and when we group this together we have a second layer. Now we have both layers separated. Let's make um, the one with the more refined details black. We'll try now to place those layers on the white background, but um, uh, we need to uh, elevate them uh, so they uh, are above the white background. Uh, the background height is half a millimeter, so the first layer, which is a great one, needs to be half a millimeter above the surface, and the second layer which is above the grey layer, needs to be elevated one millimeter above the surface. So now we can try to merge all those components together. We can take the grey layer and move the black layer on top of it. There. Perfectly aligned. In your application we can open the previously created uh, STL file we hit prepare and we end up with a project that can be sent straight to the printer for the purpose of this uh, demo I have uh, made the frame thinner to preserve the filament in a separate video, I'm going to show you how to create uh, beautiful customized uh, frames 
um, based on patterns you can find in Google. In this project we are going to be printing using three colors of filament. The background is going to be printed with white filament. The first layer is going to be printed with grey filament. The second layer is going to be printed with black filament. That printout came out nice. I'm quite pleased with the final result. I hope you found this video useful. Leave your comments below and don't forget to share, like and subscribe.